Hi! So I am going to be vlogging this week. I don't know how it's going to go, but we're going to give it a shot. I have this week off work because the company I work for is on a company shutdown this week. So last week I was away at the lake with my parents and so that was like vacation time. And this week my husband is working. So I felt like I would tackle my online shop this week and really see if I can get it going and see if I can get more art done and things like that. So I'm working on the online shop this week. However, uh, my friend had wanted to go for a walk this week. So we are gonna do that now. It is currently a Monday morning and we're gonna go for a walk. She said she has something for me that she found on Facebook Marketplace. I don't have Facebook, so I don't ever see anything on Facebook Marketplace, but she said when she saw this, she knew I had to have it. So um, we'll see, I don't know what it is. She just told me to make sure my car was empty. So yeah, I have no clue. So let's look at it together, I guess. But I have packed some ice water and I'm gonna try some hibiscus tea. Um, I've had this loose leaf tea for a long time, but I have never used it for whatever reason. And it does seem quite, I don't like fruity teas, but this is more obviously a flower. So I'm hoping that I like it, but it's too hot to try right now. So I have my tea and my water and we're gonna go for a walk and see what Becca has for me. This is awesome. Okay. <laughs> so good. Well, one thing this week, um, my friend Chantel, you're probably your friend Chantel, <laughs> is away. So I am just looking in on their cat and he doesn't seem to like me though. So I'd love to cuddle him if he would let me, but he just hisses at me. Hi slowly into the way <laughs> good morning so let's recap yesterday first of all that tea was incredible so hibiscus tea with a little bit of maple cream and two teaspoons of sugar it was a little bit sweet so you could probably get away with one teaspoon of sugar but it was so good it tasted like kind of like pancakes but a little bit different it tasted really, really good. I am currently reading Sing Me Forgotten. That one is just a YA fantasy that I had borrowed on Hoopla and now I have to return it tomorrow. So I'm trying to quickly get it in because if you know Hoopla, those boros are very precious because they only give, well, for me, they only give me three per month. So I definitely try to make use of each and every borrow that I get from them. Um, but I am also in the middle of A Heart So Fierce and Broken, which is the Curse Breakers book two. This is a reread for me and that's going well, but I had to make time for this other one because it's due back soon. Um, today I've got to do some more artsy things because, um, I did get a couple videos. Well, I got one video filmed yesterday and, um, edited a video yesterday and then I edited a video this morning. And so today I need to work on some art. I did do some digital art yesterday, but today I wanna to do some physical art. And I also want to do some purging because I did just do a thrift haul and now I feel the need to like purge some of the old stuff from the house that's just like cluttering up my life, I feel like. So I think I'm gonna just take a box around the house and see what I can let go of. 
I think that's gonna be my best option right now because I'm not in a position to like deep clean a specific room and get rid of stuff from that room um, because I have other priorities this week. But I just thought if I took a box around the house, maybe I could get rid of a box of stuff. That'd be good. So let's see what I can do. Here's my box. Thanks Costco for the box. I found a bunch of water contigos and other Tupperware containers that we don't really ever use. So that actually freed up quite a bit of space. So that's cool. I'm gonna go downstairs and I'm going to watch some TV as I do some digital art. So here's my breakfast that is now lunch and my maple coffee. And I cannot forget my blue light glasses. It's time to see how the little kitty's doing, the big kitty. <laughs> see if maybe he doesn't hiss at me today. We'll have to see. So let's go. Where are you, kitty? It is Wednesday morning and I've decided I want to go for coffee with my mom. She does work at 11 this morning, so it's early and I'm just going to go to her house. We're going to have a little morning coffee and maybe see the chickens, so I think that'll be nice. Hi, chicky babies. You're so big. <laughs> she likes it. She's like, no, I'm, I am good. Who's my favorite? Right, you too. Well, no kitty again today. I checked in on him and he was MIA once again. So today was the last day. So there goes the kitty adventures. Um, but I need to run to the library now. I have a couple of books that I need to pick up because if I don't pick them up by tomorrow, I think they get put back into circulation and I really want them. So let's go get some books. Well, I picked up my two books that I'm so excited to get to. I've been wanting to read both of these for ages. I believe they're both Christian fantasy. But then also here are all of the magazines that Becca got for me that are now overloading my entrance. And so I have to figure out what to do with all of these magazines. <laughs> Let me know if you have any ideas because I'm going to need some ideas. I have a lot on my to-do list today. It is still the morning, so I feel like I've gotten a lot done already, but I'm in the mood to film a tag video. Katie tagged me in a video, and so I want to do the tag because it looks like fun. So I'm gonna get set up to film that video and then, then I'll get into some art. Well, I finished this video. It took a lot of work to prepare for actually, and it's gonna take some work to put everything back because I took a bunch of my books out. So now I have to put them all back. But it is the life of a booktuber. So I just wanna do that before I can get into any art. Plus it's past lunchtime. I'm not overly hungry, but I think I want a nice coffee. So let me put my books back. We'll make a nice coffee and see what kind of art we can get into. I've got my iced coffee. I've got my reading journal. And I think I'm going to try and catch up on some of my um, collaging for the reading journal. So let's do that today. Yes, I'm back in the car, but I am determined to go paddle boarding this morning. It's supposed to thunder shower in the afternoon. So this morning looks good so far. Let's pray that the Lord gives me a couple hours out on the water. Um, I'm just gonna go to the local river. I have all my stuff packed. I'm ready to go. I'm so excited. Even if I only get like 20 minutes on the water, you know, that's enough. That's not enough, but it, it'll, it'll be good time. It'll be a good time. So anyway, uh, that's what I'm doing this morning. My back is killing me, so I'll probably just sit on the paddle board instead of paddle boarding. Um, and yeah. Uh, come along with me.
This is one of my favorite beaches in our city. It's not an actual beach, but it's just a little place where a lot of people dock their little watercraft like paddle boards and canoes and kayaks and it's fun. So this is going to be my first solo voyage. Yay! Some kind of competition going on or some training. They're going way, way faster than me, but I'm not in a race, so. <laughs> Of this even though the river looks kind of dirty right now I don't know why but I'm not going in it so there's that but yes I'm excited to be on my first solo journey on the river I guess I would love to make this a regular thing let me know if you guys love water if you guys have ever paddle boarded or kayaked since technically what we have is a sup yak it's a stand-up paddle board crossed with a kayak. So let me know if any of you guys like paddle boarding or kayaking or canoeing. And some good Canadian geese or Canada goose. <laughs> Got myself a blue butterfly pea tea latte from Second Cup. Have you guys ever had the butterfly pea tea latte from Second Cup? Uh, it's very, very good. Oh yeah, that's good. So solo paddle boarding was a success. I have a tea that I never get to get because we only have one location in our city and it's in a very inconvenient spot. So I just so happened to work out that I could stop there today. And now I have to go get um, a chip repaired in our windshield. So I'm gonna go do that because I have to be there in 20 minutes, so. I don't know how long it will take, hopefully not very long, but then I can go home and then I really want to shower and then I can get into some art. <laughs> oh man. Today has just been a really amazing day. I just have to thank the Lord for this. Um, everything has been going supremely well. I am just living for the day it is so good so i woke up naturally without an alarm and i woke up nice and early my back was is still hurting but um i was able to get outside and go paddle boarding even though there was a storm looming at first it was supposed to start at uh 12 or 1 and now at this point it's been bumped to five so we'll have a nice full day of sun and um the time on the water was perfect and the timing just worked out with like the crack in our windshield getting repaired just in time and then on my way to the place where we're getting our windshield crack or chip filled I saw we have a new thrift store and it's massive and it's like in kind of the area that I like to drive in and stuff so it's not in any unusual area so I'm so excited let's go see what's in the thrift store good morning my hair is in this heatless curls thing that I got from Amazon. Um, yeah, so I'm not going paddle boarding this morning because my back is killing me. Um, I've just been at my art desk for a little bit working on my reading journal and it's just hurting so bad. So I think I will go get some cereal because I haven't had any breakfast yet and have a seat on the couch while I eat. I don't know, hopefully the back pain will subside today. Got my little morning 
breakfast hammock situation set up and I'm going to maybe finish reading the book Caller. Sitting here. I'm actually reading Caller or I'm not sure if the author pronounced it Calor on audiobook because it is in first person. So I am reading that and I'm really, really liking it. So that's awesome. And I think I should be able to finish it today, which is cool because, you know, it's, it's bittersweet to finish a good book because it was such a good book, but now you get to read another good book maybe, but you know what I mean? It's the reader thing. Anyway, I'm just going to have some breakfast and listen to my audiobook outside in the beautiful weather. So hopefully these ladybugs will take care of our aphid problem because they are just eating our vines like crazy. Well, I'm just gonna wrap up this vlog here um there's been a lot of stuff in this vlog i think that'll keep it somewhat entertaining but i did do some reading i finished calor or calor i'm not really sure and super super great i'm not gonna give wrap-ups because that's for the wrap-up video i read the bait of satan i have thoughts on that and I am part way through reading A Crown of Chains. Now, I have stuff to say about this already and I'm only here, but maybe I will save this for the wrap up also. In terms of other clips you will have seen, we went to my mom and dad's for a weenie roast. Um, myself and my niece sat in the hot tub also, but uh, we were mostly there for the wiener roast and that was fun. It was nice to have um, a lot of my family together again since it's been a little bit since we've got all gotten together. There were a few people missing, but I mean with a little bit of a bigger family you just do what you can do. Um, and we had an aphid problem so we got some ladybugs. Today, I didn't see any ladybugs in that area, so I hope they're either just hiding or flying around and that they will come back to that area because it's not gonna help the aphid problem if the ladybugs all flew away. And also, I hung out with my friend today after work and she has a little 10 month old baby and he is just so adorable. So that was a lot of fun. And Right now, I came home and the power is out, like the street lights were out, not working. So I believe my husband, on his way home from work, will go to the neighboring city, which is really, really close, um, and get supper there on his way home because I don't have any like sandwich stuff right now. And I don't know, like nothing else comes to mind. I mean, a salad but that's not very filling nothing else comes to mind for like foods to eat without the use of electricity right yeah that's the wrap-up of this vlog i haven't ordered any more stickers yet i did get one order of my stickers in a couple of weeks ago i want to order some more from a different company just to see how i like the quality and i've got a bunch of projects on the go that I did not get done this week. It was a busy week. Anyway, this little wrap up clip is getting way too long. You guys have already stuck around for the whole vlog, which I appreciate. Thank you so, so, so much. If you watched to the end, maybe give me a shark emoji because today is the beginning of shark week. Yay, so excited. 
I never really do too much for Shark Week because we've never actually had the channel that does Shark Week. I don't know what channel that is, Discovery. We don't ever have that channel, so I never actually get to watch Shark Week content until like after it's on a streaming service. Anyway, I'm just adding to this ending clip. Leave me a shark emoji in the comments below if you made it to the end. Thank you so much for watching this whole thing. I love you and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Have a lovely day. Bye.